hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are old yet thanks if you are new here please do me a favor by tabbing on the subscription button then and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new video so before any further ado let's get started here yeah, i'm using 4 by 4 inches so and what i'm going to do today is to show you how to design a church flyer so now here are the resources I'm going to use and the test in this tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to copy this color code, then go to your solid color, then control V to paste. Alright. Now then import this image, then you scale it out. All right, then reduce the opacity to 54. Okay. Then the next thing again, I'm going to draw a cycle. Hold down your shift key. Then you drag it like this. You know, position it around here. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Then this one, I'm going to copy this color code. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then this one, I'm going to reduce the size. Then something like this. It's okay. Now, hold down your control key. Then you click here. Then I'm going to select this one. Then go to your eraser tool. You select it. Click here. Then you select OK. Now, select your soft brush. then you clean it here so if you want to see it then turn this one off so now control D to deselect So this is what you have then i'm going to reduce the opacity of this one to 16 so you can see the main background here then import this image then take it up over here Scale it out. Then I'm going to change it to overlay. Then apply your layer mask. Then you blend the bottom here. Okay. So the next thing again I'm going to do, I will group this one, Ctrl plus G. So here is the background. Then select your ellipse tool again, hold down your shift key. Then you draw a perfect circle. Now position it around here. Copy this color code again. Come over here. You can see it here. Or you click on this place, then you paste it.
then control plus j to duplicate it then i'm going to reduce the size then copy this color code here then open the fonts i mean the color then control v to paste it then i'll leave it like this then use your arrow key then to move it over here it's okay then this one i'm going to reduce the opacity to 16 Then I will group it. Now select your test tool. Come here to copy the search name. Then Ctrl V to paste. I'm using the font Century Gothic. I'm going to change the font color come over here to paste it you can see the color code here again so you can paste its own color code here you see Then I'm going to increase the size a little bit. Then apply a drop shadow. Here are the code. The opacity is 65. Then the blending mode is not multiple. Distance 3. Then the spread is 2. And the size is 4 then the noise is one then you click ok now ctrl plus j to duplicate it then copy the test tool Then you paste the test. Come over here again to copy the color code. Select your test tool. Then paste the color code. Then I'm going to duplicate this one again. Ctrl plus J. You drag it down. Then you copy your test again. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm coming back again to copy the color code. Select your test tool again. Go to the font color. Then you paste the color code. So this is it. Then I'll drag this one over here. Or you select them all. Then you click here so that it will be properly aligned ctrl d to deselect okay then i will reduce the font size lead to then ctrl plus g to group it then you cannot rename it then the next one again i'm going to copy this one select your test tool again then you paste now here this is the font i'm going to use okay 
then and this is the code I'm going to use select your text tool then you paste so I'll position it around here come back again to copy this text here then I'm going to duplicate this one Ctrl plus J then I'll move it over here then Ctrl V to paste then I'm going to increase the font size then I'll leave it this way alright so now is the same color code what I'm going to do next I'm going to apply a test effect so now go to your blending option then you select your drop shadow then I'm using multiply then the opacity I'm going to leave it at 33 then the angle should be 90 then the distance 15 so let me bring it over here so that you can see it well then the spread 4 then and the size 2 then I will leave the noise at 1 again then you click OK so you can see how it come then I'm going to copy this one Ctrl plus C to copy select your test tool again or you press T on your keyboard then Ctrl plus V to paste then change the font to Century Gothic then make it bold then on this one I'm going to close the character spacing by minus 80 then copy this color code then ctrl plus v to paste then on this test I'm going to make it cab okay all right so now go back to your drop shadow so you can see it's almost the same thing then here I'm going to reduce the distance to 14 then the spread is 4 and the size is 2 the noise is 1 so then you click OK now I'm going to copy this one again then select your test tool come over here then you paste then this one highlight this one then turn off the curve then the character space leave it by zero
then i'm going to change the font to this one so you copy the color code then change the font color all right so then come over here to bring this light flare you know position it over here then select screen Then I'm going to group this one, Ctrl plus G, then, and this is your test. Then come back to background, draw a rectangle at the bottom here. Then copy this color code. Then you can come over here. Then Ctrl plus C to copy it to paste. I mean, then move it to over here. Okay. All right so the next thing we are going to do click here then i'm going to bring and the image i'm going to use from the system go to your file go to place embedded then i'm going to where i have the picture here then i'll click on place then you reduce the size so I'm going to leave it here then draw a rectangle okay then leave the color at white reduce the opacity it's okay like this then copy the name Select your test tool, then you paste it. Then position it over here. Alright, so now what you are going to do next, then copy this test here, select your test two again, then you paste it. Then I rotate it this way, then reduce the font size.
then I'm going to bring this icon reduce the size it's okay then I'll position this one like this then select your test tool again then you type the word this letter here then leave it at regular then increase the size position it this way then rotate this one so that it will perfectly match it then draw a right angle Okay. Then apply this color on it. Then rotate it. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Then I'm going to use this color here. Copy the color code. Then apply the color on this one. Now you have something like this. Then copy this one. Select your right angle again. Draw it over here. And copy this color. Select your test tool. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then make it bold. Reduce it. Then I will align this one. Then close it. I reduce the font size okay so after this one then go back again to bring this icon you reduce the size again then copy this one select your test tool then you paste again reduce the font size then open the character spacing since this is okay Then come over here to copy the last test. Select your test tool. 
then you paste it change the font color to white then make it italic Control plus A to select all, then apply particle alignment, Control D to deselect. Then I'm going to group this one together as date and time. So now, here yeah, I'm going to apply the same effect on this leaving. So, what I'm going to do now, hold down your Alt key, then you drag this test effect to this place. You can see. Then, if you want to make any amendment, double click here. Then, now, I'm going back to the drop shadow then the opacity I'll leave it at 23 then the angle should be 90 then distance 10 then the spread for the size 2 and the noise 1 so you can see the change now so now the last thing I'm going to do now hold your shift plus control plus alt key then you press e on your keyboard then i'm going to apply the camera raw filter okay then i'm going to apply the camera raw filter on these two the clarity i'm going to make it plus 10 then and the dehaze i'm going to make it plus 40 so you can see the change there then click ok so now and before now and before so thank you so much for watching remember to subscribe like and share